Hello, and welcome to another episode of A Good Cast, a podcast produced by Goodwill North Central Texas. It's a show where we take a closer look at the story behind the store and highlight success stories made possible thanks to the generous donations of everyday people. I'm your host, Justin, and it's Veterans Day. Veterans Day can be traced all the way back to 1919. Originally known as Armistice Day, this observance commemorated the ending of World War I and the veterans who served in it. In 1938, it was designated as a legal holiday, but was altered in 1954 following World War II, which drastically increased the number of deployed troops in service. Armistice was dropped from the name and replaced with veterans in recognition of American veterans of all wars. That's when things got weird. In 1968, the government tried to make three-day weekends a thing for federal employees throughout the year by recognizing Veterans Day, Memorial Day, Washington's birthday, and Columbus Day on Mondays, but the state said no, that's too confusing. So in 1975, Veterans Day was put back on November 11th, and we all went along with it, because at the end of the day, Veterans Day is meant to honor those who have served in our military, and that can happen on any day of the week. That was a lot of information, and I hope you're ready for more, because today we're talking all about Goodwill's Vetworthy program, its history, and its future, with a bunch of really great guests. So let's get started. Our first guest is our VP of Workforce Development Programs, Romney Guy, who's here to shed a little light on the history of Goodwill and veterans working together. I'm Romney Guy. I'm Vice President of Workforce Development and Mission Services for Goodwill Industries of North Central Texas. And I've been with Goodwill about 21 years. I've been with this current Goodwill about six years. Do you know when the uh, Vetworthy Program was launched? Yes, and you really have to look at the larger history of Goodwill Mm -hmm. uh, because it it started back during World War II. Uh, During World War II, Franklin Roosevelt uh, reached out to Goodwill Industries International because a lot of veterans were coming back into the United States um, from that war, and they had different types of disabilities. And at that time, they didn't have any type of disability services in the U.S., so um, a lot of those veterans were coming back and they felt like they didn't have a purpose. Um, they had suffered war injuries and weren't able to connect with employment. And a lot of them were just sitting at home. Uh, and so he knew that Goodwill Industries worked with people with disabilities. So he reached out to Goodwill Industries International and asked if they could uh, receive some of these veterans uh, in different job centers across the U.S. and work with them. So for all intents and purposes, Goodwill Industries uh, was the first veterans employment program in the nation. Um, Goodwill Industries as a whole has always uh, had a heart for veterans, and uh, it kind of morphed from there. And Goodwill as a whole started doing different types of services. Some of them saw them through job centers. Some of them had specialized programs. Um, Our Goodwill started back around that same time serving individuals uh, through our retail program. I I had no idea that, like, from the beginning of Goodwill as a whole, that, you know, that was a population that we were serving. It makes sense, like, contextually, because, I mean... Goodwill North Central Texas was started four or five years after the end of World War II. So like, that's a huge population. Yeah. And that's the thing. I'm the big history buff. I have all these books on Goodwill history, but Mm -hmm. um, it it was really fascinating to me because when when I first got to Goodwill North Central Texas, I wanted to find out a little bit more about the veterans program. And then it just made me kind of interested in what, what is the history? Um, so veterans have always been very special to us. They've been uh, a part of the heart of goodwill. Mm-hmm. And I, through, through our partnership with Texas Veterans Commission, we've been able to provide more specialized services for them, which has been amazing. Okay. So let's, let's talk about, you know, sort of this modern, incarnation of, of our veteran program? Like when did Vetworthy itself start? What was the idea behind it? And then how have we revamped it with this partnership? Okay. So in 2014, 
Pidwell Industries International um, had gotten a grant through the Walmart Foundation to do a more specialized program nationwide. And we were a part of that. Um, and then unfortunately, that funding ended uh, three years later. Mm -hmm. And so we still wanted to serve veterans. So we continued to serve them through our job resource centers. But we really saw, you know, that this was a population that had special needs uh, just due to the nature of them transitioning back into not just life, but work, you know, mm -hmm. doing a different type of work. And so that's when we decided to go after specialized funding with Texas Veterans Commission. You touched on it a little bit. What are some of the specific barriers that veterans are facing as they're transitioning back into civilian life? Well, what we've seen is a lot of times, you know, they might come out with uh, a job that was very specific to the military, like, you know, a mechanic on aircraft or something like that. And they don't know how to take that experience and present it to an employer. Um, you know, retool their resume uh, to highlight how that can transition to another type of job. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't want to do anything related to what they did in the military. And so that's where our credentialing programs come in. We can help get them a credential in a different field. Uh, you know, so we have a variety of different ways that we uh, work with those specialized needs and help them transition back into the community. This brings us to our next guest, Teresa Lamb, who you might remember from our E-Squared episode. She'll go more in depth about the program's current operations and goals. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Uh, you have a new title. Yes. Director of Youth and Veteran Programs. I get to work with a grant and I get to do more financial budgeting stuff. I'm so excited. Still, months later, mm -hmm. I got promoted in June. Um, I had the opportunity to take on the veterans program called VetWorthy. And I feel like I got the best of both worlds because I've always wanted to work with youth. And I was if I wasn't working with youth, I've always wanted to work with veterans. Mm -hmm. And so ultimately, the best gig ever. What kind of stuff happens in that program? Yeah. So what we do with veterans, we also serve their surviving spouses and their dependents. And we can actually serve up to six counties. Um, Parker, Denton, Tarrant, Wise, Hood, and Johnson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. With that being said, uh, we essentially help to upskill them, get them through credential training, job placement, kind of figure out what avenue they want to go into. If they actually want to go into credential training, okay, great, let's be able to identify that and to navigate them to the best path that's going to be a good fit for them. We essentially help to upskill them, get them through credential training. We have up to 69 that they can choose from. It's going through Opportunity Accelerator, which is one of our programs, or going through North Texas Institute for Career Development. Just some examples, there's paralegal, forklift training, professional truck driving, medical front office, billing and coding, all that good stuff. And, you know, sometimes credential training, that's not what they want to do. They want to come in and just get a job. Absolutely. Let's kind of look at the resume. Let's freshen it, freshen it up. Let's do some assessments, build up your skills and help get you set and send you some job leads so that you can be full-time employed. But it's just not getting a job for a veteran, their spouse and their dependent. It is actually a career and the retention part of it. So that long-term, it's something that they love what they do. If a lot of this sounds familiar, it's because VetWorthy shares a lot of practices with our job resource centers, with the added benefit of those community resource connections. So just like our job resource centers, you'll find intake, job placement specialists, and Goodwill staff with business development skills. It's the same holistic approach that all of our programs strive towards, with a focus on obstacles veterans may face specifically. Barriers can be finding full-time employment, but also getting the basic documentation, ID, social, birth certificate. Sometimes that gets lost. It can definitely be finding mental health resources and basic essential needs such as food and clothing. Okay. I, I think it's interesting that y'all also serve like the families of mm -hmm. the veterans. I think it's super special that we can serve them because sometimes a lot of veteran entities are only focused on the veterans, but the fact that we can expand to them, I think that's phenomenal. 
Um, but we go wherever the need of the client is. So if we have clients in Denton County, the team will go out there and meet with them at a local job resource center and enroll them. And then moving forward, we're actually going to be at Patriot House every week. So we are going to be meeting with those clients directly. What's Patriot House? Patriot House is in Fort Worth near Lancaster. It is actually a, a veteran's shelter. And I think that's super important for for us as Goodwill employees is to go out to the community and build that relationship with other entities and other personnel that could benefit from our programs. Whenever we discuss our program specifics, I think it helps to look at the data that corresponds to the topic so everyone has a better idea of the program's goals. This information comes from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics and is titled simply enough, Employment Situation of Veterans. According to this release, unemployment for veterans has increased by 7.3% from 2001 to 2020, part of which can be attributed to the COVID-19 pandemic. The unemployment rate for male veterans is 6.5% compared to 6.7% for female veterans. 54% of all unemployed veterans are between the ages of 25 to 54 and 41% are 55 and over. And in August 2020, 4.7 million veterans, which is about 26% of the total number of veterans in the United States, had a service-connected disability. In Texas, this accounts for a little more than 409,000 veterans. That last bit of information is based on the Census Bureau's 2015 to 2019 American Community Survey. To break it down even further, there are approximately 42,000 veterans living in Fort Worth, which is only a small part of the area that we service. With all that being said, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. We're going to hop back and forth between Teresa and Romney now as we hear about the future plans for VetWorthy, and then we'll hear from veterans themselves at our campus headquarters to learn more about their experience with Goodwill. What kind of like special plans do y'all have for VetWorthy with this increase in, in funding and you know resources? Oh, okay. That's a good one. So we are actually looking forward to having a new Veterans Center headquarters with our Goodwill North Central Texas HQ. Um, So the Vet Center is going to be there. That's going to be the home base for it. Um, I'm very excited because my goal is to make this program bigger and better than it's ever been. I'd really like to see us serving um, a lot more veterans, you know, each year increasing the number of veterans throughout our territory. This is a program that's near and dear to my heart. I'm a dependent as a military veteran. My family has a long history of veterans. And so I um, have a special heart for this population. And I would really like to see us expanding our services and having more intensive services all throughout our territory, especially in rural areas where there's not as many service providers. Veterans are true to the heart of what we do. Um, You know, they have, like I said before, since World War II and before, they've had a special place in the heart of goodwill. We hire veterans within our organization, not only in our retail division, but some of our more professional divisions. We are very intentional with what we do and everybody on the team loves what they do and they love to help veterans because they were a veteran. And I think that's always a plus veteran to veteran connection is very different than veteran to civilian. Hello, my name is Ron Pry. I'm a retired Air Force veteran um, and I've worked with Goodwill at the VetWorthy program. The reason that I took this job is because Goodwill cares not only about the community, but it also cares about the veterans within that community. And Goodwill exemplifies what service before self truly means by going that extra mile for the veterans and their families through our Vet Worthy program. As a veteran myself and an employee at Goodwill, it means a lot to me personally to be able to assist other veterans and their families with their career opportunities. Hello, my name is Hector. I work at Goodwill. I was a combat engineer. And then I was a signal support specialist on uh, in the National Guard. And one thing that I can say that works for veterans at Goodwill, as far as being an employee, uh, is the camaraderie. Everybody gets along at Goodwill. Uh, they're all good people. And we all come together to accomplish a common mission. My name is Arnold Pearson. I was a warrant officer in the U.S. Army. And I am currently the manager of the Opportunity Accelerator Program here at Goodwill North Central Texas. I I think for veterans, one of the challenges that I had 
coming out of the services, I wanted to work for an organization whose mission I could believe in and who had a, the sort of unity of purpose that you have in the military. And that's very hard to find in the civilian world. And I think we have it here at Goodwill. Hello, my name is Tylen Ty. I am Goodwill Rehab Program Manager. I served the U.S. Navy in Virginia Beach, Virginia, Oceana. Well, Navy. Most of my experiences in the Navy, I have a, I have been able to transfer them here, and I've been able to like work with all types of people. So it helps because Goodwill is the employer that loves to help people and give them a hand up and not a hand out. As we wrap up this episode, I just wanted to give a huge thanks to everyone who participated and allowed me to interview them. The veterans on our staff are some of the most passionate team members that we have. I'd also like to take this opportunity to say that if you are a veteran or know someone who is that could benefit from any of the services mentioned in this episode, feel free to reach out to our VetWorthy team and they'd be more than happy to help out. To do that, you can email vetworthy at goodwillnct.org call our campus headquarters, or visit goodwillnorthcentraltexas.org slash vetworthy. Thank you so much for listening, and happy Veterans Day. You have been listening to GoodCast, a podcast produced by Goodwill North Central Texas. To stay up to date on all things Goodwill NCT, be sure to check out our social media and sign up for our newsletter. And if you have a second, we'd appreciate it if you could share the show with a friend or leave us a review on iTunes. It is the fastest way to help the show grow. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you find podcasts.